Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to our way to day living. Looks like we got a pile here. What's this one? Oh yeah. Put stuff into that one. Take those out of there. If you're only new to the channel today, I collect glass bottles with a 10 cent. A uh, plastic bottle with a 10 cent, also a can, the aluminium can with a 10 cent. Now, here in New South Wales, uh, Australia, we can put all of this stuff through a machine, which I'll put a uh, uh, video up during the week. Um, or you can go back through our playlist. What the hell was this? 20 hour, okay, dumbbells. Um, I've got many videos on dumpster diving, on what I do, not what everyone else does. Um, my sort of dumpster diving is a little bit different to everyone, um, but everyone's not the same. So, if you're considering on collecting cans for a 10 cent return, it can be done. Right, we've got that one there. You've just got all you got to do is look on the back, and if you see a barcode on there, which they normally have a barcode here, um, and then you've got to look for a 10 cent logo. Now, these big ones, I know they go through the 10 cents basically in your fine print in the black writing up here, it's never always beside the barcode. So, and that's on the glass ones, uh, the tin ones here. They're usually beside the barcode, sometimes not, sometimes they're up above somewhere else in the fine print. Um, and when it comes to uncrushing a lot of these, we have a bar, like if you get that really, like I'll show you, if that's really crushed like that, yes that looks destructive, doesn't it? But, believe it or not, we can get them out. All we do is we pull them open, right, and we've got a bar, right, that we jam down inside, open them out, that that'll go through as it is like that, as long as it can read the barcode and there's no cracks or anything in that barcode. The can itself can be about 90% open. So that one will go through, even though I give it a crush, just giving you as a demonstration, um, anything with liquid in it, we always empty out because it doesn't like the liquid. That's been a no-no bottle. Empty. Um, plastic bottles, if they're crushed up, they're quite simple. I'll grab one out of here if I can find one. Nothing in that. I'll give you as an example. We use air most of the time, but you don't have to use air to blow up a plastic bottle. Like this one here, for instance. I'll crush it up. Show you what I mean by crushed up. If that is like that, and then someone screwed it up like this, right, you'd think that's impossible to open. But all you're gonna do, undo the lid, screw it backwards, and I've got an object at home. It's called a dust cover. That I actually take the lid off, I put the lid back on because we can. Ex they accept it with the lid on now. Um, then we put a dust cover. It's for an air, com air compressor fitting, and you put it over there. It's the exact right size. Then I've got a hole in the end of it, and I blow air in it, and it blows the bottle up. Then you put your cap back on. It's ready for processing, for recycle. So that's what we do there. Um, some of the 10 sensors that we don't, that don't go through, we take them home anyway, and we put them through our aluminium press, we press them up, send them as an aluminium block, we get a little bit more, um, stainless, it's not stainless steel, it's, 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 um, I'm trying to think what I'm, yeah, the aerosol cans with the, uh, you know, like your deodorant and all that sort of thing that are aluminium. Um, we cut the tops off those. If I find one, I'll explain that. 
Jesus, a whole heap of grease pods here. Find a, find a, have an empty one to put all that in. Leave that there for now. But anyway, we'll get two. And all the aluminium tops, like your screw tops off your glass bottles, that sort of thing, I put them in with the pressing aluminium. So that way it goes through. Oh, we got McDonald's here. We're going to get a free feed. We got a free feed of chips, but I don't want those dried old chips. Right, probably best if I just collect the whole containers. Yeah, that one's on there. Collect the containers. And um, we'll look at them later. That way we're not holding the shell up. When it comes down to hygiene, I get my gloves from Bunnings. They're a garden variety, double latex. Um, as long as you still wash your hands, sanitize your hands and everything like that, after you do do this. I've never caught a cold out of it. I've never got sick out of this. Some of my dumpster diving videos, I've got food out of here. Never got sick. But if you are interested in doing it, by all means, ask before you go. Especially if it's a curbside bin. If you can get someone to save them for you, that's even better. We emptied all that out at home. Right, that one's chocolate. That was from last week and this morning, so that one can go over there. Spin him round, he knows he's ready for collection. That's what I told them. Right, pick that up, that can go into there. Pull that aside. Jump into this one. Oh yeah. Probably put that into here. Down there, down there, over there. Like the gloves I'm wearing aren't cheap. They're nowhere near cheap. It's always handy to have a few pairs. Some days it can get grotty on me. I don't worry about the liquid that's pouring out of it. Can always have a wash. Wash them first. A bit more in. Pour that good stuff in there. Done. So is that. There. Got a few in this bag. Right, 
Like if you can get out there and actually collect some a lot of this stuff, um, I guess there's money to be made. Another man's treasure is another man's treasure. As you can see, I've probably got oh in excess of probably three dollars sitting there at the moment. By the time the day ends, might be about a hundred dollars. Move that one over this way. Get into this one. To the front row first. Put that over here. Down the side. I might just pour that into this one here. Take my top out. Make this a bit easier for me. Good. Take that. Don't take that. Take that. And these fancy little baskets broken. Easy. Oh yeah. Oh, put our bottles up there. On to this one will do. I'll heat the paper there. Big bottle. There we go. Some in here. And when it comes down to these ones, the cordial ones, they don't have a 10 cents. I can't recycle those, unfortunately. But anyway, it's the way of the world. Wine bottles, take the tops off. It's in there, that's in there. Though, hmm, I'm wondering, I might take that just to um, have a gander at something. I've got to work something out, so I'm going to find out. It's just something I put on in the, on the cards before they think about bringing wine bottles in. I might be able to store them and do them that way if things work out okay. Just got something in the in the in the mist. See what happens. Hey. Take one and um, find out. Probably my best bit. Get out of there. That there. The advantage about these garden gloves too, you can wash them. They are washable, but don't wash them in the wash machine if you do buy them. Um, because they actually, the hot, the warm water actually ruins them. You've got to wash them with cold water. Only cold water. This is what I've found. The um, hot water makes it go, they go, go all sticky if you got them in, in, under hot water. Strangely enough, I went through so many doing, like I was destroying them 
under the hot water and uh, they were just flaking away and once the blue starts peeling off the here toss them away and get new ones <laughs> grass clippings That one don't go. What else we got here? I know that one don't go. There's a can. So here's a prime example of a crushed can. I've just seen another one. Prime example, I haven't crushed it. They've crushed it by their hands. All I have to do here, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> is pull it out. Most of the time you only need to pull them out as long as that barcode's visible. You can do a lot of it via your own hands. You sometimes don't need a tool. That's with the machine we've got. Um, I don't know what machines you have or anything like that. So I make it easier for when we get home by doing that. There is a process that we put these through at home. We put them in bags. If you go back through our videos, you'll see the big bags that we put them in. Uh, sort it out. We sort the cans and plastic as one. The glass is a separate unit. That's so we can put it through the machine ourselves. That's that bag. Or is it? Yeah, no, that's it. Sneeze coming. Come on, sneeze. No, it's going away. Don't you just hate that? That's it all torn up. I think we'll make that one do. Is that? Use this one. Put the bag there. Put that bag there. Not two in the ocean. No <sighs> foil. Right down there, grab that yogurt top pud. This is the last one, isn't it? Jeez, he's got a lot in him. Get rid of that one, we're finished with him. Done and dusted, full as a boot. Put him there. Damn lot in here. Always pays to look through the box. Might be one hiding. Overboard, didn't it? Oh, whole heap of meat. Oh, go that way. Fortunately, I'm too late for it. That would have been yesterday. Put in there yesterday.
the right mess in here. Wet mess. McDonald's. Okay, gonna get anything out of this? Get our foil here. Nope. We lucked out on that dried up burger. I know that sounds disgusting to everyone. See, this all goes with the crushed up cans. I, I usually get it as baled at aluminium. Uh, it's a little bit more money. Don't know why. And loose cans like if I send in loose cans that I can't get the through the return and earn machines um, for some unknown reason they give you less money it's about 10, 10 to 15 cents less being loose up against bailed there we go we've got all of that the things probably citronella and stuff come on get out of here yeah citronella probably anyway that's that put those couple back three grab our mcdonald's wins loss whatever we'll probably find more of those anyway put them on back too We'll go there and see if we can get some more. <clears throat> see what we're going to get out of this. <clears throat> Should have had a drink. <clears throat> Roach going a bit froggy. And then we'll just sit there. Try and tag a partly empty pool type of one behind us. Because there, apparently I've just gone around and had a look around here. And they're all pretty much full, so we'll get a fair bit today. We got there. What have we got there? What have we got there? There's a little bit in that shampoo. Uh, sit it there. Oh, actually, no. We'll sit it down here. There's a little bit in it. Nothing in the bag, other than a stick. See there, go through the bag. 
That one already done. Nothing in that one. And I can see through that one, so there's definitely nothing in that. That's a no. Get that off there, we don't want to know about those things. Push it aside. Too many in here. What do we got here? It's a 10 cent. Uh, made in Australia, so it's got to be 10 cent. Come on. Find it, find it. There it is. It's up the side there. It's all in that. There. Oh, itchy nose, tell you. That there. Over there. Here's something glass in here. Rattly. There it is. Oh, it's got an element top two. More elf oil. Another bottle or two. KFC. Central. Nothing there. Yes, we'll grab that. Take that. And it's lid. They're alfoil. Aluminium. Aluminium. Same thing. Same jagger. Oh, got stabbed by the stick. Naughty stick. Oh, that hurt in the side. Truth. All's good. No bleeding. Gas can down there. Test that one out. Gas can. Still got gas in it. See him down there. It's on the ground now. views why I'm collecting those biscuits. Oh there's a bottle down there. Yeah, it's because that cooks our toast of the morning. We've got about six months supply of it. We haven't had to pay for any of it. Leave that one here. Push him back. He's done. Yeah. Gas is a commodity that you can take. Especially this time of year. People start using a lot of it. I'll fill that one up more. Pick him up. Okay. A lot of flies around today. It's supposed to be about 30 odd degrees. Look at this. Some people don't know how to put trash in, do they? What have we got here? Holy dooly. We'll soon empty that lot out. That goat stuff. It's not too bad, but yeah. I've had a try of the stuff. I don't, don't like it much, but it's a drop. It's a nice drop. In a nice way. Still getting through 
oh, I think it was about three or four weeks ago I done a dumpster dive and um, found a whole heap of alcohol still getting through all of that alcohol Off flies, get out of my ears, go away. Just about need a set of earmuffs, kick me out of my ears. <laughs> then you got your eyes, pain in the butt they are. I did say it was going to get bad last week, and it has hit, it certainly hit. Although next week's supposed to be cooler, back down the 20 degrees. So we will get a reprieve. How you going, mate? Not bad. Oh, well. I don't have to work today. You know what I like to tell you, poor fellas? Oh, well, that's always the way, mate. you got to do something to earn a living. Yeah, well, that's good. <coughs> well, you've got a bloody nice park here, eh? Hey? It's a nice park here. Oh, it's not mine, mate. Isn't it? No. No, I only go through the, through the trash. Oh. <laughs> Hey? Eh? Well, that's the thing. Earning money, keeping it out of landfill. Yeah. Keep up with the flies. Keep just oh, just don't open the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> those flies to landfill. They come back. <laughs> that's the problem. And you'll find, yes, a lot of it does go to landfill. So if I wasn't going through getting all the cans, cards, and plastic and glass out, it all does go to landfill, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just here, you know, they take it all out to uh, uh, another town further south from here. I don't know whether they process it or what they do there, but it's only another small town like this. Mm. So, yeah. But I've been doing here for, well, going on probably four years. Yeah. Every week. It comes back to people won't put it there. Oh. You've only got to look in here. And how grotty it is in here, are they going to put it in a crate? They've already tried. It was more in the trash than what it was in the crate. Yeah. So they've done away with the crates. Some people are just... It comes back to laziness and wasteful. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, you're right there, mate. Like, I've been up early this morning, crack of dawn, five o'clock. Um, had to do a delivery of some fire buckets, done that, and I've come and started doing this. <laughs> and I probably won't get home until late. So, yeah. And you'll have all the flies to keep the bloody company. Well, I've got some good friends. Yeah, well, that's true. They'll I can see it. what's coming on my back. <laughs> well, mate, you have a good day. Yeah, same to you, mate. At least I've got eyes on my back. Wait, look at it. <laughs> Someone likes loud music. Oh, down there. Okay. Ah, pick up those two. Nothing there. Filling this one up fast. There we can put a bit more in there. We want to take an empty with us. Nothing in that. Oof. Bashing the old head around. think we'll put that box in that and that'll make that one do that's full for that wouldn't matter what you spray or do the whole flies come back anyway well, there's not much in that so we can take uh we'll empty this one out and there we go 
we only want one empty Empty that, take that. Currently about 26 degrees. Wow. Celsius, CO, Cs. There. That's a one can come out of there. That right into there. Not much there. Definite no. That there. Oh, we've got a decent bag here. What's this one? Get that stuff out. Now foil. Go away. Buzzing in my ears. A bit closer. Don't know why there's a rock in here. Throw the rock out. Does not need to be in the trash. This looks like last week's stuff. It is. Oh, what am I digging at it for? Oh, drag that out and put it in that. What's this one? Put it over there. Phew. Get off. It's about the only thing I hate. Flies and ants during the summer. It's not summer yet, but they always start around now. Enough to drive a person mad. Just got to get on with it. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Shivers down the spine, you name it. it feels like my skin's crawling. Got a little bit in it. Why throw it away? What is it? Dry skin. Serve for dry, dry skin. Oil and oak extract. Body lotion. No, I don't want body lotion. Shampoo, yes. I think we'll leave that one now. Move him over. Move over Rover. This Rover in here. 
get rid of that. Messy today. in my hand. He's already done. Do pour that into that because I want an empty. I want to keep an empty with me all the time if I can. So I don't know what's above me. I've got one there, I've got three or four around the corner. Although, if I take the full one or the part for one, I might be lucky. I'll leave that one here. Oh, thanks, mate. Oh, stuck on. Oh, yeah, there's not much in that. That's good. I just chuck them in the trash, mate. That's what we did, but I mean, say. Oh, I look, I do it every week. Okay. <laughs> and, and they don't have any recycling here anyway. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Just chuck them in the bin. Yeah, like yeah. Like well, I come here every week. I don't work here. Oh, okay. Um, I just put the bins out when they say to put them out and that sort of thing. Uh, I get all the. Oh, that's how I get paid. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the white bin that you moved this morning, you'll have more in it again tomorrow. Ah, oh, well, it'll be emptied uh, this week. Okay. So even if you want to hang on to it until after that, well, how long do you stay for? Until uh, Friday morning. Hang on to then, put it in after the truck's gone. Okay. That way I'll get it next week. Sweet. Thanks, mate. Goddamn toe. Bloody hurt. Okay, this must be the white one he was talking about. It is. Top it up. Oh, I'll get a lot of wine bottles out of it. Put them in there. See what the old toes are from that last one. 
They're not a light bin, these are. Oh, that's a funny bottle. Never seen that one before. And that's 10 cents. <laughs> like a lucky hit. Ooh, that's got some waste in it. We'll go through that in a minute. Get all this out of here. Looks be okay. Oh, the back's torn. Nah. Over there. Oh, I'm not into reading. Not one for collecting literature like that. Cool bag down there. Wire in here. Grab that. Yeah. What else is in here? Someone's diary? No. 24 hours a day. Yeah, okay. What the hell? Whatever. that oh <laughs> someone lost their teeth <laughs> oh that's a backpack that's what it is no don't need it Do oh yeah. some of that still got a hole heap in it is it near us hole hair shampoo still a lot in that that there. I'll empty this one out into that. <coughs> Leaving empty. Go through these. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Geez, they're big ships. My god. Oh my god. They're huge. Are they? Don't know. They're Adidas, Adidas, whatever you like to call it. US 11, UK 10 and a half. Pfft, go away, fly. Doesn't say Australian, it's male. Male shoe. Anyway, just staying there. I'm not taking them. Two diseases, all that sort of thing. No label. You go that way. Oh, hang on. I was told, I think, I'd have to look back through, that there may be a... Geez, that's a full bottle. I think that's only water. Um, I may be able to dispose of ones without labels. I just have to go back through. Check a few things out. That and that can be stuck together. Then it can go through. Empty it out so I can see. There we go. That's the nearest old can. Oh, can't get the top off it. Still got a little bit in it. Now, what I was saying with these is we knock the plastic off there. Um, then we get to and cut the metal piece off and that goes through as crushed aluminium with all of this stuff So we combine it together. They're not stainless. They are aluminium. No magnet. Look No magnet and whenever I cut it, there's no sparks. So it's definitely aluminium So that's what we do there with those. Ah, uh, getting back to this. Oh, wow Up and over, son. Throw it a bit further.
I'm here for a while. Sit back, everyone. Got a fair bit to go through. <coughs>
Alright. I'll make that do that one. I'll put that stuff in here for how much is in that. Oh yeah, we can do that. Then tow that one. pamphlet, scrape it out, again there, we lost that one, oh this one might not be 10 cent, it is, jeez imagine getting a load of that size, take you a while to get a load, him up probably empty oh no this time it's got some in it we got some in this have we yeah we get a little bit put it in there make sure it's empty take the full one with us that way two cans yes thank you Get off tea bag. Get back in there. I just upended, I reckon. Oh, come here, don't run away on me. Make him empty. There we go. Now here's a prime example of the squash one. Right with our squash ones. We normally put a thing on it, but you can just pull them open. Make them the same shape. <coughs> and all you got to do, well, what we do, is we make sure when we're going through the machine that it can read that barcode. That's all we do with the plastic bottles. It is easier if you've got an air compressor and you blow them up and that sort of thing. That was empty. Hook him up. Okay, the next one. Check this one out. Add a bit in it. Bit of nothing there. I think they're collecting them for themselves. There's only food waste in that one. Food waste in that one. Yep. Just empty it out. Donation was that? See some funny things in here. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, we're lucky now, we're not having much fun once. I haven't got any of that. In there. Empty that one out. Might leave that one here, I reckon. I reckon. Bolt up there. Reset. Take the empty. Grab it in. Leave him out for collection. How you going, bro? Oh, yeah, a little bit in it. Turn the car off. Thinking because it was back here, I didn't think there was anything in it. Open. He found him. Little tin can there of aluminium foil. Little doggy tin. Nothing down there. behind now. Put him back there and put the bags out. What have we got there? Oh another one of those things. Definitely nothing. Bit more foil. And that's it. We'll move up. 